Hello, I'm Richard Freeman, and I would like to introduce you to the internal practice of Ashtanga Yoga. Our primary tool during the practice is the breath. When you whisper, the sound is soft and aspirin. As we breathe during these postures, we will make this same soft, pleasant aspirin sound with the lips closed. The sound of the inhale and the sound of the exhale should be the same. To keep the sound of the breath even and to allow access of our awareness to the core of the body, we will also practice soft, steady gazing with the eyes. The eyes will be directed towards different external or internal points without intention, ego, or strain. It will be a friendly gaze accompanied by a soft internal smile which will open and relax the back of the palate. This opening at the back of the palate will allow the movement of the breathing to drop down to the floor of the pelvis, the perineum. This will cause a gradual awakening and toning of the muscles which connect the coccyx to the pubic bone. As we begin, we will use the toning along these perineal muscles to keep the rising spreading movement of the inhale grounded in what we call the mula, or root of the body at the center of the pelvic floor. Here's how to do it. Listening to the pleasant aspirin sound of the breath, finish the exhale and feel the perineum tone. As the inhale begins, draw the lower belly right above the pubic bone slightly back. During the whole inhale, imagine that you are drawing a thin thread up from the center of the perineum about an inch. Keep the soft palate open as you draw on this perineal thread with the breathing movement. Also, release the pubic bone and coccyx down at the same time. Inhaling this way fills the whole torso evenly up to the collarbones. When exhaling smoothly, just keep the center of the heart area open all the way through. All of the movements and poses that we will do are based on and support this internal breathing process. Watch these next few postures for important tips before we begin to practice. When inhaling, keep the feet grounded and the floating ribs behind the kidneys lifted and spread. And during the exhale, keep the back straight as long as possible before releasing it. Inhaling again, straighten the lower back. If stiff or injured, you can bend the legs during the initial descent and then lift the hands from the floor to straighten the lower back. Next, step or hop back with the exhale. Keep the arms straight like this if you need. Bend them with the shoulders squared back when you have enough strength. Inhaling, the tip of the spine, the coccyx, dives down as the toes are pointed. The hips are pulled forward, the belly releases, and the shoulders are squared back and down. Always keep the base of the index finger down whenever the hand is holding weight. Next, draw back to fold the groins deeply. Bend the knees if you are stiff for this one. Remember, never strain and always move with the breath. 
You can always step instead of hop. You can always bend your knees if the backs of your legs are too tight. Now let's begin. Lie down on your back and draw up your knees. Placing your fingertips on the lower belly, three inches below your navel. Listening to the sound of the breath, follow the breath to its end and feel the contraction of the pelvic floor. As you inhale, draw the lower belly under your fingertips slightly back, allowing the rest of the belly above the fingertips to be deep and free. Allow the lower back of the rib cage to fall back and spread as the whole chest and heart area are left free to spread the inhale evenly. This way, keeping contact with the perineum, inhale all the way to the brim, the collarbones. Then begin the exhale preserving just the essence of the inhale by keeping the heart bright and floating and the mouth soft as if you were smiling. Keep patiently cultivating this internal breathing as you go through the postures and the movements connecting the postures. Now, Draw your feet up off of the floor with the inhale and rock up to stand up with the exhale. Place the sides of your big toes together. Stretch open the roots of your toes. 